Joan Rivers once wrote that she wanted her funeral to be a huge showbiz affair. She said, I want Meryl Streep crying in five different accents. I want Bobby Vinton to pick up my head and sing Mr. Lonely. And I want a wind machine so that even in the casket, my hair is blowing just like Beyonce's. Well, we asked Jim Axelrod to tell us her story. From Carson's couch. I went to buy sexy underwear and they automatically gift wrapped it. Oh. And you go, oh. <laughs> to the ice bucket challenge. Everybody having Joan Rivers Saturday spent night. half a century in front of the cameras using a signature no catchphrase. Can we talk here? I mean the people I the people I worked with. And a tart tongue she often turned on herself. Rest by Oscar de Laurenta. <laughs> Body by Oscar Meyer. <laughs> Born Joan Malinsky in Brooklyn 81 years ago. Look at this. Rivers made her first Tonight Show appearance in 1965. There we are. Isn't that nice? How are you feeling? Great. By the early 80s, she'd become Johnny's regular guest host and an A-list celebrity, which may have been the high point of her career. So happy to be here. When she started her own competing talk show on Fox in 1986, Carson was furious. They never spoke again. The show flopped, and shortly after, her husband committed suicide. As she told Richard Schlesinger in 2010, she'd hit rock bottom. Everything was taken away. Dramatic, dramatic. But I truly started from ground zero again. No, negative numbers, because I had the reputation of she's hard to work with. My Fox show had failed. My husband committed suicide, so she must be a terrible person. Just everything went to hell in a handbag. Gone. She reinvented herself as daytime talk show host, best-selling author, reality show star, and fashion critic. Okay. Well, that dress has more creases than my face did before Botox. Last April, Sunday morning's Mo Rocca asked her how she felt about dying, and not in the stand-up sense. How do you think actual death will compare with dying on stage? I think actual death would be a lot easier than dying on stage because, uh, you know, if you do it right, you can go looking good and maybe with a little quip. I loved everybody. Joan <laughs> Rivers always wanted the last word, sometimes profane, often offensive, but always meant to make you laugh. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.